Here's how you can add text onto any video using Clipchamp. Start by logging into Clipchamp or sign up for free. Next, you'll be taken inside the editor. To get started, you'll import the video you want to overlay text onto. Do this by clicking on the Import Media button, selecting the asset, and then hitting Open. Your video will load into your media library here. Now add it into your timeline by dragging and dropping it in, just like this. Next, to access all of the available text styles, navigate over to the toolbar and then click into the text tab. You can now scroll through all the title options. Just hover your cursor over the option for a preview of that text animation. Some popular animated options are typewriter, title, large heading, and bouncing title. If you're after a text option that doesn't have any animations, you can use plain text. When you've found the text you want to use, drag and drop it into your timeline, making sure to place it on top of your video asset. Before editing that text, play your video back and make sure you're happy with that style. If you decide it doesn't suit your video, drag and drop another text style into the timeline. Drop it on top of that previous text bar to replace it. You can do this as many times as you'd like until you've found the text you want to use. Now, if you want your text to appear at a certain part of your video, just drag the front handle of the text bar to the right to where you want it to pop up on the video. Likewise, drag the end handle to meet the end of your video if you want that text bar to appear throughout your entire video. The next step is to customize your text. Just note that each text style will have different editing options. Firstly, you'll click on the text bar in your timeline and it will highlight green. For the plain text option, you'll navigate up into the stage where the text editing options appear. To change what the text reads, click on the pencil icon and then you'll just type in your changes. Now to change the color, click on the color button and then select from a default color option, enter in a color code, or in the HSV color picker, you can play around and find something more specific. You can also adjust the transparency of the text here too. Just drag the slider left or right. The next step is to change the font of the text. Click into the font drop-down box and scroll through all of the available options. We do have a lot of new fonts that have been added in. Simply click on the one you want to action that change. Make sure to check out the blog in the description of this video, which will show you the 10 best fonts for editing and for social media. Now you can either adjust the size of the font here, just click on or enter in the size that you want. Alternatively, just drag the corners of that text in or out to make it bigger or smaller. Now drag the rotation option to rotate that text however you'd like. You can also move it around freely, placing it any way you'd like it on the video preview. For more advanced settings, click on the three dots. You can now change the boldness as well as the italics of that font. You can adjust the alignment, the position, and the rotation. By clicking on the more options button, even more advanced settings, effects, and fade options will appear. Click into the advanced button and you'll now have the ability to change the line height and the letter spacing of your text by dragging the sliders left or right, just like this. If you'd like your text to look like mine at the beginning of this video, turn on the outline and the shadow options. In the settings tab of outline, choose the thickness of that outline by clicking on one of the options or by dragging the slider. Then in the settings tab of the shadow, choose the distance of the shadow and the direction. You can also change the blur by dragging the slider. To change the color of the outline or the shadow, click into either of their color buttons here. Then as before, just select your color. You can leave it at that if you're happy, but to take things to the next level, you can fade your text in or out. Click into the fade tab and then drag the fade in and fade out sliders. Play your video back to make sure you're happy with the way it looks. Lastly, you can add an effect to your text here in the effects tab. Just click on the effect that you want, change any of the editing options. For example, the speed and the amount of that effect. Each one is going to have different options. Then play your video back to see what it looks like. You can add as many effects onto your text as you'd like. And if you've added the wrong one, just click on the effect again to deselect it. 
This last step is completely optional, but if you want more text showing in your video, either add in another text bar or copy and paste your current text. Click on your current text bar in the timeline, then hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V. All of your previous edits will be the same. Now just follow the same editing steps as before to customize that second text bar, move it anywhere you want on your video preview and adjust when it appears. Once you're completely happy and all of your edits are complete, you can export your video by heading to the export button, selecting the video quality. Then once that export's complete, a copy will automatically download straight to your device all ready for you to share. And that's how you can add text onto any video with Clipchamp. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.